So I have another fixed track for you to experiment with. Basically, it's a fixed set of modules that you can explore and uh, experiment with all sorts of different techniques. I had in mind with this one mostly in the direction of experimental techno, I guess, or experimental rhythmic uh, music. I say experimental because there are no fancy sequencers here with song mode and stuff like this. And also no dedicated uh, drum module, so there is no kick, snare, hi-hat, open hat, clap, and so on. There is tremor too and kick all from the FACO, um, but you can use them for everything and anyway you will have to synthesize your own sound. Um, as you can see it's mostly um, concentrated on Befaco and Vult modules, there are a few other modules here also VCV and Nischi stuff like this. And as the mixer which is um, quite interesting in this setup I guess it's the Rex mix from Repelsen which is um, inspired by the Hex mix from Befaco. Um, right so you have two sand effects, I'm using a plateau as a sound effect, um, built in EQ, low, mid, and high, um, panning modulation, level modulation, but it has only six mono channels. So this is quite limiting and it's quite cool because limitations are a doorway to creativity. And this is the idea behind all of this uh, fixed uh, rack business, right? Just limiting yourself um, to this set of modules and see what happens. Um, right, so we have all sorts of different voices here, filters, uh, modulation, lots of modulation, a sampler here, the sequencers that I chose to use is the Max Slicer with Max Expanders and Squonk, um, some effects, um, so again basically experimental sort of techno or rhythmic um, system. And I thought today would be interesting um, if we can experiment and see what happens in 10 minutes, <laughs> what I can come up with in 10 minutes improvising, experimenting, um, and seeing what happens. I have here a timer that's set to 600 seconds, which are 10 minutes, and when it ends, it will basically mute everything. Right, so I'm going to start the clock. I have an idea of how I want to start. Um, I want to start with recording modulation with simplicity, but this is it, basically. We will see where it will take me for 10 minutes. Um, download the patch, download the clean patch, so without the patch cables, experiment with it. Um, if you are doing something with it, um, please tag me, I would love to hear it. Um, and that's it. I will try to explain or to talk you through um, what I'm doing. But we will see what happens. I will see you on the other side. All right. Let's go. All right. So I thought about starting with recording modulation. So I'm just going to take here a voice, right? Vesek. Through a Lopez. Oh, yeah. Through a Lopez filter. Right. And I will use knobs um, from Vult here, right? To send offset to this filter. Right, but also to record here on Simpliciter. I hope my face is not blocking anything. So Simpliciter basically is a sampler, but it can also record CV. It is DC coupled. So I'm going to take sound on sound off just so we can um, listen to everything and let's record something. Right, something like this, let's say. Right, and now we have here the modulation, so if I'm using this to modulate the filter. Right, I will add already some reverb here. Oh yes, indeed, I need a bit more levels. Let's see, let's see. Right, now I can change, maybe make it in reverse. Or maybe even have like a sort of a splice. Right, and instead of loop, it's going to be a one shot. And let's use, I will use Max Slicer. Let's use the first output of Max Slicer to trigger this one shot. Right, okay, let's move on. Right, 
night I can add also some panning modulation every caudal which is um, a random source basically a smooth random signals right so now that we have this let's add some rhythm so I'm going to take the clock output from a max slicer and trigger squonk we can also multiply the clock output clock let's multiply it by two let's say right I will use the triggers to trigger the oscillator part on tremor 2 and this will go to another channel on the mixer right and now let's take some steps off um, so squonk has 12 steps this for a second right we can also add modulation for the level to sequence the level right I have to be quicker here I guess right so let's say this will be full this will be full and this will be full right right we can also change the decay or modulate the decay so I'm just going to program here another sequence. Right, and let's start adding this other voice. Okay, and now what I will do, I will send also, I think, a copy to a delay, right? So I'm going to sync the delay with the max slicer, sync on block 2, and let's send the copy of this kick drum. Also to this delay, fully wet, and I will go with the mono delay, and already I'm going to mix just to save, to save space, to save channels on the mixer, I'm going to mix this, right? something like this and maybe 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 I will go first actually with the copy through a filter through a high pass filter right, just to create a bit more a bit more rhythms let's go with the Hyatt now let's go with the let's go with a max expander for some hi-hats or some noise or something like this you know let's go with noise plethora a trigger 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 noise plethora Doo -doo 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 input and let's take the output to the mixer okay now let's have a sequence i'm going to set here ratcheting right something like this and maybe also modulating with or sequencing here with squonk very cool Okay, let's try and create another rhythm. I have no idea what's going on, but I'm going to trigger. No, you know I'm not going to cycle them. I'm going to use a sort of a ping pong envelope here. So the end of cycle of one envelope will trigger the second envelope, just so I can create a sort of a rhythm from them. Right. And let's see, I'm going to take Vultari, which is 
very a very experimental oscillator through nitrous um, let me see maybe later we can add also a few effects I don't have so much time okay now let's use this modulation for nitrous let's see what happens let's use the max output which will output the Instead of ping pong, I'm going to use a first trigger from to modulate the level I still have time oh I have a bit more than a minute I didn't do anything here um, let's go with this new stereo strip I don't know why I'm not so sure why but <laughs> um, something like this right such mod just modulating the levels here I can do this there also but here I can add another volume modulation from caudal which is bipolar so this is why we're not hearing it so much Let's sequence quickly. Can we sequence quickly another voice? Let's see what I have here. I have 13 seconds. <laughs> no, I can't. All right. Okay, that was it for 10 minutes, uh, I guess. Wow. All right. Cool. That was an experiment. Uh, 10 minutes are not enough, I already can tell you this. Um, <laughs> but fun ideas, you can modulate things, you can try all sorts of different voices, um, right, recording modulation, recording samples with simpliciter, sequencing things, uh, you have all sorts of different options here that I didn't even uh, look at, which is a shame, um, but this is what I could do in 10 minutes, why am I screaming? This is what I could do in 10 minutes. <laughs> All right, again, download the patch, the clean patch, the fixed track, uh, do something with it. You don't have to limit yourself for 10 minutes. Um, share it with me, tag, my, uh, tag me somewhere, Facebook, Instagram, and so on. Um, I would love to have a listen. Um, cheers.